Okay, so today I'm at Midsummer Norton, and for those of you that don't know, there's a small bit of the old Somerset and Dorset Railway that has been preserved here. Here is the old station. This station is called Midsummer Norton South, which is a bit surprising. There's also another station just up the line at Radstock, in the other direction. The bit that has been preserved is the bit towards Cheddar. Oh, is it? I don't know. Anyway, I do know that the Somerset and Dorset Railway did go along to Bridgewater and along to the docks, going through the levels, which is why if you go on some of the lanes, there's some old railway pieces, such as the Railway Inn near Ashcott, and there's also a house with an old sign that says Ashcott and Mere Station. Here is our diesel train arriving. I'm so glad that Heritage Railway is actually running a diesel. The train on the other platform, which is a steam engine with mixed freight and goods on, was meant to be forming the service. However, it broke down yesterday and there's something wrong with the spring. So, the diesel and the other steam engine is running this service. The diesel is at the back, or as you can see, heading towards the station the front, and the steam engine is exactly the same, it's just at the other end. I really like diesels, especially like this one, it's an old shunter. I think it's a class 08. If not, please correct me in the comments below. It's either an 08 or an 05. Here we are departing Midsummer Norton South on the small bit of preserved railway that just goes along, I think, just over a mile. They could have preserved even more. However, when the roads came into play, the railways went in decline massively. And since the railway was abandoned some years ago, there used to be a small little kind of like a gorge where the railway used to go through a cutting. However, the cutting, or the gorge, I don't know what it's called, has now been filled in, which means they can literally only preserve this little bit unless they reinstate the level crossing at the other end and go towards Radstock. Anyway, enjoy the journey along this small section. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can see, the train has stopped. Why is that? Well, that's because we're at the other end of the line. Yes, there is no station. However, a couple more miles, there would have been a station. However, they couldn't preserve beyond there. However, here are some pictures that I took on the way back. Here is a picture of the front of the DMU, which is preserved and probably abandoned. I really like DMUs like this one. Here is a picture of the cabin. Yes, some of these carriages did have cabins. And here is the steam engine. And here's a picture of the sign saying Midsummer Norton South. I quite like the Southern style signs. However, it's no Great Western Railway. Also, lots of buses went past. Here are a few that I took. I was on my way to the museum, which is at the top of the hill. Here is a first group, or first Bristol bus, Volvo Wright bus. I don't know what route it's on. However, if you can just about make out the destination board, then please tell me. Here is a first Mendip Explorer bus. I think it's on its way to Bath. However, I could be wrong. It really struggled to get up the hill, and I think it might have gone over the pavement. I really like those buses, especially the Mendip Explorer buses. The Enviro 400s look fantastic in that livery. What is this person doing? He's reversing on the main road and right by a very busy junction. That's really not good. I'm guessing to let that red car out if you just saw it. Here's another Mendip Explorer bus. I think it's going to Wales on the 174. As we can now see, here is another Volvo Wright bus in the first Bristol Colours. We can actually see that it's working a Mentip Explorer route. It's on the 172 to Bath. It got up the hill a bit better than the Enviro, surprisingly. It still struggled a bit there. As we can 
can see here, here is another Enviro 400 on one of the Mentip Explorer routes. This one is in the Mentip Explorer colours. What did you say? It's the same bus as what we just saw going down the hill? Well it is, I think it comes from that hill, goes down another hill to Radstock and Midsum and Norton Town Centre and then goes back up the hills as we can see here, going through Shetland Manor and then across the and now, Dad wanted to stop in a proper job, so he stopped at the one on the Street High Street. Street High Street? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it does, because in Somerset, there's a stupidly named place called Street. And this proper job looks tiny on the ground floor, however, it's got a much more bigger second floor. Oh dear, did I just say second floor? Well, I meant first floor. Anyway, proper job had a stupid platform lift. Again, I'm really not surprised. And since when did you see a cooperative travel?